once you're in an industry, your passions outside that industry can help influence and even project you higher within that industry. How you said your comedian career has actually helped you get medical information across in a easy to learn and rapid way. So um, I was assuming throughout your book and when you go on uh, the doctors, um, your comedian experience is helping you get that information to a larger body of people who may not have been able to consume that information had it not been in an easy to understand uh, medium. And then, you know, and there are a lot of examples where people add their personal elements to the field of medicine, and then it takes them in very interesting directions. I've, I have classmates, for example, who were very entrepreneurial, and they use their MDs to move into directions that were completely not clinical. Um, uh, one of my classmates started the most important app for finding the proper uh, dosing and, uh, um, and um, administration for medications that would tell you, you know, what the dose is, what the uh, interactions for the medications were, it was called Hippocrates. And so he joined, he was a classmate of mine in medical school. Then after a year realized, you know what, I really want to go entrepreneurial. Got an MBA at Stanford and then uh, founded this company while he was a student. Uh, another classmate of mine was a chief resident at UCSF, which is the highest position as a resident you can obtain. And then within a year or two, uh, felt that um, he would like to do something in the dot-com world. And then uh, he moved on to become um, a principal in a private equity fund in charge of all the medical investments. Uh, another classmate has founded a, a, a national app that pretty much all doctors use to communicate with each other uh, uh, and others um, in, in you know, medical uh, professional capacities. And the list goes on. 